As we age, keeping up with your health care becomes even more important. That way, doctors can catch problems sooner and make sure you're living your best life. In today's MedWatch, learn about a less invasive heart procedure that had a man back on his feet in no time. I have an old car that uh, I've had for many years. I, I put, built the thing, actually, a lot of junkyard parts. It's a 1932 Ford. So we took a trip uh, and we did the perimeter of the UP before the color. I like, I like the body when he picked it up. That fall trip was a big deal for Donald and Evelyn Moran. Stop here, stop there, look at this, and do what you want to do, and we just had a good time. Having a good time and enjoying life is what these two should be doing, but heart problems were slowing Donald down. I was getting tired so much. Tired, tired. I would turn, turn around, I want to go to sleep. Sit down, you know. So finally, it come to my regular visit with Dr. Slocum, and he told me about uh, what was happening. Donald had aortic stenosis, a disease that causes the narrowing of the aortic valve. He was a good candidate for the TAVR procedure, a less invasive option that opens up the valve. Right after that, I just, it was like a whole different thing. I mean, wasn't so tired, didn't want to go to sleep all the time, and... Um, I was walking fine, and I'm still walking good. Dr. Nick Slocum was part of Donald's award-winning heart team from Munson Medical Center that got him back to his life, his wife, and his truck. This hospital is something else. I mean, I really had good care, very good care, and I got a very good doctor. But part of what made Donald's procedure and recovery a success were his diligence in seeing Dr. Slocum and his team every year for more than two decades. It's crucial to know your heart health. You can do that by taking the heart health assessment and talking with your primary care physician. With Corey Atkins for MedWatch, I'm Michelle Dunaway. For a link to the heart health assessment, head to 9and10news.com.